and the bell trap by on the location. Not so much mistakes, but learning lessons uh, you know, throughout my first five games. And then, you know, I want to come in and be as uh, smooth and, and, you know, very productive as I can in this offense. And, uh, you know, not, you know, do the you know, same mistakes that I did the previous week, just improve. And I think, you know, just not just me individually, but the whole offense will improve each and every week. We're getting better, uh, building more confidence, playing as you know, one unit. And uh, we have so many athletes and so many playmakers that we all just, you know, not being selfish, we all cheering one another on. And, you know, whoever time is, is an opportunity to come and take it. So how do you keep your focus? Because that's the key, obviously. You guys have a goal for this year, and you're going to have to do it. How do you keep your focus on the job that's in front of you versus everything all the outside? Because uh, we have the, the, the one game mentality and uh, one week season. And so you know, each week, you know, we try to be one and up. We don't look forward to the, the next game or, or the game in the past. You know, after that one day, after we play, you know, we return our you know, focus on whoever we have next. So, uh, you know, now, you know, after we want to celebrate this win, and then you know, tomorrow is about the 0 0 and try to be one and up next week. And uh, we will put all our focus and all that time and energy in, in that one game and then move on. Um, and that's just the coach I've been. That's been here you know, set from day one. You know, before I even are committed, you know, ever since Coach Mini been here, he's that one way at the So uh, we just built in from the question. Deshaun, after hitting a big long pass today for the touchdown, it seemed like you had good rhythm. Did that did that pass get you going tonight? Uh, just a little thing. I mean, just you know, open up the run game, opening up the you know passes here and there. Um, there's always you know passes like that that kind of connect. connects. Not just for me. Uh, get my rhythm in, but also the whole offense. You know, once we connect on those passes and, and do the little things right, the big things open up. And it's you know, once we start clicking, it's hard to stop us. Set. The last offense that started to come off the field. Was there a focus then on making sure to get four good quarters in and string them together? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. Uh, was, uh, you know, the coaches, Coach Sweeney, I, did, I think they probably wanted to take me out, you know, before then, but they kind of, I don't know, they probably just kind of let me in, but uh, they probably wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, but, you know, it, it was a great time, you know, while I was in, I had an opportunity to, to play with a lot of you know, different receivers, different people, you know, different running backs, so uh, it was great to you know, get out there. Was this the most complete 60 minutes uh, game you guys have played so far this year? I think so. Uh, you know, we had a a little slow uh, start in the second quarter, but you know, all three phases kind of hit, and you know, it, it just kind of you know, went from there. Uh, but you know, I think it was probably you know, the best game we had this year, um, and we got to improve on it. Is it useful to go through some of those two minute drill type of things in the first half just to get, I, know, I mean, obviously you've done it a bunch of times before, but just to kind of work those muscles? Uh, yeah, I mean, we practice it every day in practice, so it's, it's nothing new for us. Um, and, and the way our offense is ran is pretty much a two-minute drill. We kind of be up pace, uh, up tempo. So um, you know, really, whenever we're you know two minutes you know, hit, you know, it's no different. You know, still, everybody lined up to the ball and get the play. Deshaun, you look great against the Blitz tonight. How did you prepare for BC's front seven, and were you impressed at all by the play of uh, Harold Landry? Uh, yeah, we just kind of. You know, he's a great player. He did a great job of you know, creating pressure, you know, things like that. But um, you know, my offense, offense I'm going to do a good job of communicating, um, pointing out the guys who they need to point out, and my running back, you know, is getting his guys. So um, you know, we just all be on the same page, and we all do that. We all kind of connect. Uh, give me the time when they play downfield. You also look great on the deep ball. How are you able to execute specifically the fade routes today? Uh, just, you know, practicing it. Um, and just really trusting my throws and following through. So, um, you know, just you know, guiding the ball with my eyes and just let my, my skill set do the same thing. Um, and just, you know, just being myself and giving the guys the opportunity to play ball. Do you feel like the last two weeks have gotten this offense back to to kind of where you were, or close to where you were at the end of last year? Uh, I mean, yeah, it was just you know, a lot of you know new pieces on the offense, uh, a lot, a lot more skilled guys, a lot more impact guys that can make plays. So we're just trying to you know find what we're good at, you know, find that you know that rhythm of what the you know, the opponent want to do against us. So you know, find the good plays. And How hard have the last few weeks been with Thursday night game, eight twenty two kickoff, Friday night game? 
Uh, not, not too hard, you know, because this is, this is what we love to do. Uh, we're just playing football, having fun. So uh, by the end of the day, we just kind of get some rest. And if we get the rest, other than that, you know, that's what we you know want to do. You want to play, um, you know, as many games as you can in so a uh, little time. So, um, you know, guys are just, you know, being prepared and uh, ready to play. All right, second half of the season, I guess at this point, six games left without the two playoff games. Do you think that the point total and the differential is going to uh, mean a difference in your uh, rankings, first, second, or third? It seems like this year that point differential, you know, people are getting more rankings, higher rankings by blowing teams out, which it wasn't in the past few years. If you have a chance to really lay the wood on someone, you guys going to do it? Uh, that's that's Coach Sweeney's uh, job. You know, I, at the end of the day, we just execute. You know, every time we touch the ball, we try to score. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we, we handle our business and do what we need to do. Uh, you know, we, we won't have to worry about that. You know, we only can control what we can control. And uh, we let the, the voters and the, the people who have made those decisions handle all that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's always things that can improve, improve on my decision making. Uh, you know, just continue to have a, a you know zero poor decisions throughout the game, uh, zero MAs, you know, misassignments, and just kind of continue to follow through my throws and be confident with my my guys making plays, and uh, you know just continue to lead and, and build on my confidence of being in the pocket, throwing, making throws, and also running the ball. So. Uh, you know, each week it's just kind of uh, a chance for me to improve and uh, get better and learn from the mistakes that I had previously.